Hi. No. <laughs> I can tell. I actually think I'm better at intros the less alcohol I've had. <laughs> I think that's the problem. Okay. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Hello. We are back with a BuzzFeed quiz because, again, we need to know who we are based on what BuzzFeed tells us. All right. The BuzzFeed quiz we're taking is called want to find out how an author would describe you as a character in a book create a fantasy land to find out question one what would be the name of this fantasy land land of hearts argentatum i do regret volunteering for these <laughs> out i'm so happy <laughs> few few oko mac i put mac um, I just think this is so ridiculous. The world of Mac. <laughs> uh, I don't really care. <laughs> Argentatum. I'm not sure. No, I don't want that. I want the Fuco. Yeah. Fuoco. It sounds like you're actually Fu cussing somebody Fu out. Fuoco. Fuoco! <laughs> Second one. What vibe will your fantasy land give off? There's Ooh. one that's like a dark... I, moody there's a field of flowers a beach and then like a london street i'm doing dark moody because i'm doing you belong among the wild flowers <laughs> <laughs> well what will the climate be like brisk and chilly stormy changing every day sunny and warm snowy i guess changing every day would be my I can like I want to put that, but then I'm like, what is wrong with me? I'm also like warm and sun. I I love reading about tragedy, but I'm like, oh, <laughs> I love the sunshine. sunshine. I like, what will my climate be like? My climate will be probably sunny and warm, unless it's snowy or brisk and chilly. I'll put changing every day. <laughs> <laughs> what color will the sky be? There's like a purpley pink sunset. Mm. A one at night with a comet, yeah. a blue sky, and then some red blue sunset. Like, that looks like lava. Yeah, it does look like lava. Which one are you doing? I'm gonna do the star night one. Yep. I'm gonna do lava. Lava. Mm -hmm. What will your land be rich with? <laughs> Cookies? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fruits and veggies, gold, diamonds, cookies. Cookies. <laughs> I'm throwing a wrench in this quiz. Yeah. What is the inspiration for this land? New York, the English or Irish countryside, Wonderland, Paris. I'm going to put Wonderland for myself. Yeah, I'm like, these other ones I don't want to base off like a real place. So I guess Wonderland, though I don't really like Alice in Wonderland. No. That's... Lastly, which mythical creature lives in this land? A dragon, fairies, angels, mermaids. Now this is the question. Oh gosh. Dragons. Ooh. Ooh. Mermaids! <laughs> oh, what the f- Okay. fantasy land is like fire <laughs> okay so how an author would describe katie based off her are you ready fantasy land is like soup soup i don't think you heard me soup <laughs> okay so mine says i can't <laughs> fiery and tough this person will do what <laughs> They think is right and nothing else. They don't give a dang what anyone else thinks, which is admirable trait, but sometimes can get quite intimidating. Oh gosh, there's the word that describes it. Intimidating? I was like, I feel like this is pretty accurate. <laughs> With their shoulders <laughs> thrown back. Oh, I'm slouching currently. <laughs> they will march into the face of danger and give, give it a good slap. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> they are fearless and as tough as nails, but this lack of fear also means lack of caution. Not true. 
they need to be held back sometimes to keep the rocket from soaring too high. Why does this sound like a little sexual? It's a little... <laughs> there's some innuendos. But, I mean, like, honestly, though, I feel like that does... Oh, I still got more. Oh. <laughs> this person is a natural-born leader, the face of a revolution, and a strong warrior. Their life will be short-lived. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dark. <laughs> Due to their impulsiveness. I'm not impulsive. But they are made immortal through the memory of their greatness and bravery. This person is like fire, and just like fire, will always leave their mark. Dang! I didn't know which word I wanted to go with that word. That's honestly, though, I feel like that description. For the most part. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna learn how Katie's like soup. Like soup. <laughs> I'm gonna have an existential crisis after this. Okay, soothing and calm. This person is like soup. <laughs> they have an aura of calmness around them, and being with them is like taking a deep breath after being underwater for too long. I'm, can I be the one that at least push you underwater? Like, can I be a little gritty? This person will make you feel at peace and happy without lying to you. In fact, they are actually brutally honest and as witty as a fox. They will shoot sarcastic comments at you time to time, but they will also say it in a funny way without any malice or unkindness. While everyone is trying to find themselves, this person is just living life to be happy and kind. Although, at the same time, they do have a salty side. They are prone to snapping. And when you tell me I'm like soup, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna freaking snap. <laughs> but in the end, if you are just looking for a pleasant time, you will go to this person. Their air of ordinary makes them quite extraordinary. <laughs> I am the happy side character that adds nothing to the plot. Thank you so much. <laughs> I feel great. I feel great. But we go together because fire, fire and warm soup. Up soup. Fire and soup. Match the dynamic duo. <laughs> Match made in heaven. <laughs> All right, that one took a turn. Soup. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>